join me. Let's do some art. So today I will be working with this quite old wooden box, but it's very sturdy, has a great closure, uh, good hinges, and just will be a perfect substrate for what I have in mind, especially because it opens all the way in equal parts. Now I went ahead and drilled some holes, two big ones and two small ones, and you will see later on what those are for. Now I pulled out all kinds of tiny bits to use for this project. A lot of kids toys, especially construction toys, pieces from old cars uh, like these bits. And remember these because they will come back into play at the very end. So I start by anchoring a couple of these things with these sticks and like always I use E6000 as my preferred uh, glue. I also repaired uh, some scratches that occurred when the holes were drilled and for that I just use my texture paste. Now this project will of course be my contribution to the June 4 core art challenge and then later in the video there will be the lineup of all of your projects and then towards the end I will give you the new challenge for the month of July. So here I'm working with bits and pieces of wood, craft sticks and these little wedges that come with uh, canvas frames and I'm trying to build a little desk. Now this will turn out a bit rustic but it's perfect for this type of project. Next I will add some black gesso all to the inside of this box. And then I use a few a bit more sturdier pieces of wood from my stash just to create a base for something a lot more detailed later on. Now I am not very experienced in building miniature furniture pieces so this little desk took me way too long to complete but I enjoyed fiddling with it. Well, I think this is a good time to turn you over to some music. Even though my process is quite detailed, I believe it's easy to follow. Like always, I will add anything you need to know in the captions, my mediums, and hopefully all the little bits and pieces that I will include, as long as I can find the proper names for them. So please enjoy, and of course, I will be back with you in just a wee bit.
so here is my box it's completed but I did lose some footage right towards the end now I think that I covered 95% of my process but I do owe you an explanation for the remaining five and of course like always I would like you to take a look at this thing one more time in detail so let's start with the top I added two pieces from a broken jewelry just to add a bit more interest to have nice texture and just the right color to complement the finish on the overall box uh, here you also have the feet on the bottom and they really make this box work very smoothly and are just a fun add-on as you can see here I installed some lights and I also installed these knobs now the lights look like this when they come out of the package they turn on easily they're battery operated and have a little loop over here and for this project I added just a little alcohol ink uh, to them I anchored them here in the corner when they're not in use there is just a screw in eyelet there's a piece of chain a little closure from a necklace and of course when I want to use them I just have to push them through this hole and they will uh, light up the inside so there's one on each side let me get this one ready as well and as you can see there are also two knobs one on each side now these knobs just got a little gear on top just for a little decoration I spaced them by using a little plastic bead otherwise one is connected to the red wheel and the other one is connected to the piece that looks like this and they turn uh, very smoothly so before I open it I want to explain that I use two tiny little figurines to help me illustrate the connection the relationship that was part of the theme of this challenge and you have met those two characters before because I use them as examples in my intro video so let me open it and as you can tell it opens so smoothly and slides really nicely across the table and that's of course because of those cool legs so here you can see what I was talking about my two little pigs working hard to generate energy so the big machine can work of course both are turned uh, by turning the knob in the back they move very smoothly and let me explain a few more details first of all the little pigs are mama pigs and that's important uh, later on they are of course attached to the red wheel that I painted right at the end of my footage this thing here is attached to that piece it's just a see-through little container I also happen to have another one of these kids wheels in black I took off the tire added it to the rim painted the sides and then included a few rocks that had some white ones and a few green ones and that of course makes a perfect rock tumbler and that's of course the business these little guys are in so on this side is their office more or less and of course their work station there is a business sign up there that advertises stones now it was a ready-made sign that I altered to fit their business I also connected uh, both of the big wheels with a heavy duty uh, fabric covered wire as you can see so to make the connection then the only other thing I added on this side is a tiny little wrench on the table a little pink bone for no other reason than to add another uh, pink element there's a dice and the rest are the pieces you saw me add earlier except the drawer that uh, finally completed the desk and this will be my container or box which again is part of the challenge otherwise you see a ladder so these guys can get up to the wheel and back down I like to think that these two pieces are replacement parts for the big machine and of course they have these lights just in case the machine needs maintenance so then on this side I added a little tool that fit into the clip I added this propeller as a cooling system and I had another one of these toy bits and that held it uh, to the wall so it moves so does the steering wheel so are the levers that are here and there and I think the only thing else I added to this side 
is a wall clock right there in the in the back and a tiny tiny little screwdriver this is actually just a charm and somebody left it here on the floor so i tried to keep the whole thing in a bit of an old vintage uh, style it has a cracked ceiling the old-fashioned wallpaper a messed up wooden floor and yes it's kind of a combination of a uh, office and a machine room it's a business these guys are uh, operating i presume <laughs> so here they are doing their rounds keeping those stone tumbled until they're smooth enough to sell but now you most likely want to know where is my purple bit and what do i call the connection so here in my drawer i have both it's a purple drawer and it's a purple uh, paper now i did a bit of a play on words as i mentioned earlier these are mama pigs if you look really close you can tell and so i called them sow mates uh, instead of soul mates i thought this was more fitting so my little uh, label will live in the box the drawer goes back in here now the little drawer was something i found i think it belonged to a proper dollhouse furnishing piece but i think it fits quite well in this kind of funky looking desk so that's it like always this kind of project get more involved than i had initially planned so so many details but i absolutely loved working on it and i hope uh, you enjoyed it too so enough of me now it's time to go to the lineup and have a look at all of your wonderful creations like always take your time look at all the details and i will be back with you with a new challenge right after enjoy <laughs>
so that was our lineup for the months of june and of course thank you so much to all of you who played along as you could see there were wonderful projects and even though i think that last month's challenge was maybe a little tricky for some all of you who took part did a wonderful job and of course i hope that you will all join in again in the july four core art challenge now if you are new to the challenges please just go below in my description box follow the link to my intro video and there you will find all the details you need so let's just jump into the july challenge i again set a theme and it will be pick your talent or superpower now like you can tell from the title it could be something very realistic or way out there let's say you have a talent maybe you are a great piano player you can definitely use that idea within your project which again could be two or three dimensional a painting a collage a diorama an assemblage anything you want it to be again you can use any medium you like to work in so let's say you already have a talent you would like to illustrate or maybe there's a talent you always wish you would have well use that for your inspiration or maybe there's a superpower that you think would be very cool to have and that you would really like to call your own all those things you can incorporate into your project you can uh, illustrate it more literally so we can see you practicing your superpower but you could also just use different elements different objects uh, to uh, make it very clear where you're going with it so it's really in your hands and i can't wait to see what you will come up with now just for a few ideas i picked out some images and these of course could serve as inspiration for painting or collage but also just as an idea even if you work uh, three-dimensional so maybe fortune telling or looking into the future would be something you would love to call your own talent maybe you always wanted to be a great yoga teacher or a great musician or a great painter any type of artist really or maybe a good sports person maybe a world famous football player a famous actress or actor or maybe a piano prodigy maybe you always wanted to work in the circus maybe you want to be a trapeze artist who knows or maybe uh, becoming a writer would be something you always wanted to have as your uh, talent or going back in time as a time traveler uh, shape-shifting um, all kinds of things that go more into the fantasy world all those things would work so that's the theme of our challenge now part number two would be to let us know what is that talent and that superpower now i know i use this often in our challenges because for some of these themes i think it's just really interesting to know uh, what you picked or what you are illustrating so yes last time we added a little piece of paper but this time just incorporate the title of your talent uh, the way you want to word it the way you want to name it somewhere within your project so be inventive uh, there could be a book on the bookshelf and it could have a title that gives away uh, the talent you picked maybe there's a banner somewhere in the room or whatever you're working on any kind of tag of course maybe an envelope addressed to you maybe you're a magician and it would say your name with your title um I don't know what this is actually how this got in here any kind of business announcements could include uh, your title or superpower little tag stamps could also be a good place to add that tickets maybe you are a great uh, football player or soccer player and so this would be a ticket to one of your games who knows many many different possibilities there's also um, here a page with small book titles again a great way uh, to maybe add your talent or superpower so think of something interesting to put it within your project 
right it big enough so we can see it but it doesn't have to be huge and now for part three we will all include a map or a part of a map so it could be something very simple something black and white uh, this is taken from a book it could be part of an atlas of course a road map but it could also be hand drawn it can be big it can be small it could be whatever you want it to be but somewhere in your project there should be a little map or piece of a map and then part four would be to include something that is made out of wood and we will leave it in its natural color now this is very easy to add if you work three-dimensional but even if you do a painting or a collage it's easy to add something more on the thinner side that is made out of wood there's a coffee stick there are some branches there's a craft stick i have a clothespin there is a little wooden decoration piece i have some die cuts i have a button a little wooden tree and a chess piece and i'm sure if you look around in your stash you will find something that you uh, could add so that's it that's our challenge for the month of july the theme pick your talent or superpower number two include that talent in words somewhere in your project add a map or a piece of a map add something that is made out of wood and keep it in its natural color so i really hope that you will enjoy this uh, challenge i look forward to it and of course i can't wait to receive the photos from all of you in my email like always you will find all these things listed at the end of this video and one more time below in my description box so please have fun with it have a fun month of july please stay well stay creative i will be back with you as soon as my next project is done until then, bye bye for now.